today for this resonant memorial recognition. A time to pause and think about those who are no longer with us. Living in a community like ours creates an environment that provides opportunity to connect with others in a way that many of us have not experienced before. While most have had close friends and social groups who you would enjoy the occasional meal out together, perhaps go to a show or a concert, it's a very different relationship than what we experience here. Seeing each other every day, sometimes eating all three meals with the same people, really sharing our daily lives have not been experienced outside of living with spouses and children. Yet here we are doing just that, hence our Escaton family. We are so blessed to be able to develop meaningful relationships with each other, connecting during a time in life when many are facing new challenges. We may find ourselves moving from lifelong homes, sometimes from far away, facing physical changes and a host of other situations where we are not alone. Collectively, we ride the ups and downs of life and have the opportunity to see what the next season has in store for us. If we've learned anything from COVID, may it be just how special our relationships truly are, that getting to eat together and socialize, gather, do activities, the importance to not only continue to exist, but to enjoy life. Let us keep in mind and not take for granted just how meaningful these moments are. Hold close to our hearts that our neighbors have become our friends, our confidants, rocks when we need grounding, cheerleaders when we need to be lifted up, and angels, <coughs> excuse me, cheerleaders when we need to be encouraged, and angels when we need to be lifted up. Seeing the same faces every day becomes our sense of security and an assurance that all is well. When one day, all of a sudden, some, someone is no longer here and staff can't tell us what happened, it can be very frustrating even a little scary, and leave us with a sense of emptiness and without closure. And because of this, I'm very grateful for this special recognition, a way to come together and give thanks for those people who have enriched our lives with their love and their friendships, and hopefully to bring some peace. This is what brought us here today, a time for quiet reflection, to sift through the memories, a time to just be when we can feel the reassurance that God's everlasting love will bring healing to our hearts. We all need the comfort of those around us to know that we are in this journey of life together. As we recognize those we have lost in the past year, let us be thankful that we are blessed with new friendships in all seasons of our life and let us celebrate the connections that we have made here at Escaton. The following names are lodge residents that have passed away from May of last year to present. It is with love that we remember Jerry Baringsmith, Francis Bliley, Elliot Brilliant, Rita Danker, Margaret Desjardin, Dorothy Dewing, Beverly Donato, Melda Foster, Jean Helm, Don Hess, Andrea Heiser, Jerry Heal, Dieter Julie, Skip Kerfoot, Hossein Khalil, William Lesher, Mac McGennity, Stanley Markowitz, Janet Morris, Victor Matarala, William Myers, Benjamin Quinn, Carola Rasmus, 
Annie Redding, Dwight Sale, Laura Sale, Ronald Simpson, Carter Taylor, Helen Van Workham, Beverly Waltman, Murray Weingartner, and Joyce White. Time is a gift. Moments can seem endless when memories of a lifetime flood your mind. They can pass too quickly, leaving, with, leaving us with a longing to suspend the moment, to capture each aspect in a way that it is impressed into our very souls. We are here today to pause and reflect on moments shared with those who are no longer here in physical body, but live on in the special connections and friendships that have touched our lives. May we not take the time we have together for granted, but rather celebrate each day we are given with joy and with thanksgiving for the people that God has brought into our lives. Ecclesiastics 3, 1 through 8, a time for everything. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear down and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. this time you are invited to share any thoughts or memories of, of loved ones if you like. I'm thankful to be able to bring back a, a, a special added touch to honor those that we have lost. So, getting these butterflies is quite interesting, um, which is why I had to postpone this from last week to this week. It was a shipping issue. Uh, they don't just uh, don't don't just go down to the store and buy them. So they showed up yesterday, and then there's a, a whole process to keeping them alive. Um, they actually come in a box, and they're in little envelopes, so they're flat in envelopes and you have to keep them cold so they stay dormant so it was like it's like a new mom with a with a baby you're up during the night checking the temperature <laughs> making sure they're okay and then all the anxiety today is i'm trying to warm them up and oh please please be okay in there and open all these envelopes and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a humorous aspect and, and and challenging. I was full of anxiety this morning going, okay, come on, butterflies. <laughs> so, but I thought you would kind of get a kick out of knowing how they all come, how, how they got here. You did a good job. Well, thank you. You think we should close the door in case one of them flies in? I'll yeah. leave them away. We'll catch the butterflies. Yeah. Last time we were able to do this, they did hang around for what, Eleanor? You said you saw them for a few weeks or out, out here. So we have beautiful flowers for them to, uh, to enjoy. So we're just going to let them have the opportunity to uh, take off as they like. 
up. And we'll move their feet out. They're monarchs, are they? These are painted ladies. Mm -hmm. They are uh, true monarchs. Um, they can be up to ten dollars a piece. Wow! So, yeah, it's a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> As I was putting them in today, one just landed on my hand and it did not sit. It sat there for the longest time. Yes. This is nice and warm. I think I'll stay here. That is actually red Gatorade. Um, they suggested the, yeah, the electrolytes, the, the sweetness, the sugars. Kind of think flowers and nectars. Yeah. had to uh, to learn get a, a butterfly education yeah well they're so they're free to go they just overcast, don't want to um, if it wasn't overcast they probably would have yeah they need to be so warm. i work with a gal out of auburn and she has to order them i will look on the shipping package they come from, i believe from another state which is why it's like so critical that like the shipping process is like planning is everything to get them here. Did they supply the container? So this container um, I had from when we were able to do this a few years ago. Um, so I, I kept it for a reason. <laughs> I have a question, did they say these were all males and females or do they all look alike? That's a great question. They did not specify. <laughs> Maybe not to the butterflies. Are they built up their wings and look? Yeah, well, Mo said, look up, lift up their wings and look. See the foot, see, do you want to let it go off of your hand? She just let one go. They only give kisses. I would like one too if, you, if you're giving them away. Take my time. I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Baby. That's it. Flap your wings, but slowly. It's gotta get the, get the, the I think going. she likes you. She's not leaving. <laughs> she's leaving off. I mean, she's not leaving. She's not leaving. Yeah, she decided she likes it there. Now what do you do? Well, 
you you get to be a good friend of your of your butterfly. Jeannie, would you like to hold one? No, I'll pass. <laughs> look at look at all the different colors on their wings. There's one right under Joyce's chair. And see how it's quivering? It's keeping itself warm. It's quivering to keep itself warm. It's like shaking its juices. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's up to you. It's I mean, happy. I'm happy to do whatever you want.